Do you want to be a broke student in university? Do you want to be the one staying in while all your friends and flatmates go out partying? Do you want to eat 45p tin food every single day because you're broke? Yes, I know a student that had to do this. He went through uni following the advice that all these other YouTubers are telling you to do, but he still ended up broke. Many people are listening to these YouTubers that will tell you where to shop, they'll tell you to be aware of your money, they'll tell you to save money before you go to university, they'll tell you to be more aware of how much is in your account, they'll tell you not to get too sucked into sales, but there's certain things that they won't tell and how do I know this? I've done the research myself. I took the liberty of going to other channels and other YouTubers and looking at their videos and budgeting and trying to think of ways that I can help improve your experience as a student and help you save money during your time at university because trust me, it could get difficult for you and I don't mean to brag but I had my time at university and I was able to have fun while saving money. All at the same time, I'll tell you exactly how I did it. Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to ACM Vlogs, and today, as you can tell by the title, we're talking about budgeting and university money. Yeah, it's all about money today, guys. You know what I'm saying? It's all about that that dollar, dollar. But before we get into the video, you already know I'm gonna do this, right? Before we get into it, newcomers, hello. My name is Calvin. I like to do a lot of entertaining, informative, or inspiring things in this channel. So if you feel like one of those, I'd like you to turn that red subscribe button to grey. Save money before you go to university. <laughs> They'll tell you to save money before you go to university. Yes, I know at the start I told you that other YouTubers would tell you this, but here's what they don't tell you. Saving money to you will be different for everyone because your student finance will be different to a lot of other students in university. Now, some YouTubers will give you the exact amount of money to save, but then again, who are they saying these amounts to? Because it's going to be different for everyone since everyone is not getting the same amount of money. Everyone in different situations, different circumstances. For some people, you'll go to university and your student finance will actually be enough. You could be getting a lot of student finance and your accommodation could be low rent. So for those people, they won't need to save money. You see what I'm getting at, guys? And for some people, their student finance will be below their rent pay. So they'll need to either get a job during university or save up a lot more than those other guys I was talking about at the start. So guys, you understand what I'm saying when, when I say that other YouTubers are not really tackling these situations properly? But I, I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. Here's my rule of thumbs when it comes to saving money during university and budgeting and stuff like that, yeah? You want to have at least £50 a week aside to sustain you. I mean, when you've calculated how much money is coming out of your account on a regular basis, as in any direct debits or your university accommodation cost, Take that out the way, you want £50 extra. So this will include food and living life in uni. Yeah, £50 a week minimum. That's what I would say. Now this sums up to about £500 a month. £500 a month? Stupid. Now this sums up to about £500 a term if we're taking each term as 10 weeks. Yeah, it could be different. It could be higher, it could be lower. But £500 a term as a baseline. Yeah. Now what does this mean for you? It depends. If your student finance matches your rent payment and all the direct debits coming out of your account, you're going to need £1,500 extra to help them sustain you living at university for the year. Now, if you haven't saved that and you're thinking of actually getting a job, then that's going to be separate. Again, you could save 500 and get a job that would help you tackle the extra £1,000 that you need. Just see what I'm saying, guys? Again, if your student finance is £500 more than what you need, once you've taken off your rent payment and direct debits, if you've got £500 extra, you will need a thousand pounds for the rest of the year you guys see what i'm getting at here but guys that 50 pounds is a minimum i'm telling you you probably want more but with 50 pounds you can sustain yourself as in you're not going to go hungry and you know you're, you're going to be able to live at uni now a lot of youtubers will tell you about travel and that you can save money during travel in university but they don't tell you enough guys because people still go out there and do silly things that can save them money in the long run these little things that will take money bit by bit but it accumulates to a big amount guys i'm telling you listen to what i'm telling you here listen to me yeah let me let me give you a little story about my situation. So my university was a 30 minute walk away from my accommodation, right? And a 10 minute bus journey. I thought I'd be brave, you know? I thought I thought I would walk every single day and go to university and all of that stuff. I thought it'd be good exercise, all of that stuff. Yeah, just, just check this. The first day I walked to university, it drenched me. Wow. It rained and soaked me, as in, meal. I looked like a, a rat. Like literally, I looked like a wet rat. I said to myself straight away, bro, I'm not doing this, bro. Like, this, I don't really want to be carrying an umbrella around. It's not really my kind of thing. Innit? So <laughs> I've got to get that bus pass. Now, coming from a person that's giving you budgeting tips, it might sound bad, but listen to me. It was the best thing I've done. Because guess what? When I had that bus pass, I can take any single bus in Nottingham anywhere I want. If I'm going out at night and I'm leaving my place before 12 o'clock, half 12, I might as well just jump on the bus. You know what I mean? Guys, it saved me a lot. And I know there's a lot of people that's going to be watching this thinking, 
I've never taken a bus before. I don't want to do that stuff. Listen, guys, if you're broke, you kind of have to compromise at this point. You know what I'm saying? If you're a broke guy, you can't really be saying that. If you're a broke guy, you can't be saying, oh, I'm going to be taking Uber everywhere because my dad used to drive me to the school or whatever before. If you're broke, you can't really be saying that because this advice is, is really for you. People were taking Ubers every single day to uni lectures and then they're the same people that were complaining that they're broke. Do you see how that sort of counter, counterfeit, counterpart, counter, counteract? What's the count? You, um, you had, you, you. Opposite. Do you see how that's the, uh. You see how that opposes what they're saying? You see, English. You know, man might be from the hood, but man's not stupid, rude boy. Now, Uber. <laughs> If you're not the type to be going out clubbing and all that stuff and you don't really use Uber like that Then I understand this bit probably won't relate to you as much But if you're the person that goes out a lot at night and you're broke This is for you and here's how you can tackle the situation Now imagine you've planned to go out with your flat or Maybe you've had a couple of people around yours or you're in someone else's accommodation You've got a couple of people around Everyone's had their drinks and that the night's going all good um, And it's time to leave now It's time to decide who's how everyone's getting to the club, right? Here's what I want you to do if you're broke, right? Just 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 do nothing. Just just chill on the side. After everyone's had their little drinks, you know, after everyone's been chit-chatting all of that stuff, just just chill. When it's time to almost leave and go to the party and, and go to the club, whatever, just just chill. Just just chill. Just just sit down, chill. Just observe. Observe. Keep your ears open and observe. People are gonna get onto me for this, I know it. But guys, you wanna save money, right? Listen to what I'm saying. Just chill and observe. Just just look. Now Henry and Jacob will be talking about how they get into this club, right? Maybe they can split the fare, or maybe maybe Henry says, oh, don't worry, bro, I got you this time. I'll pay to go to the club. Y you can help pay back, yeah? Just just let them have that conversation. Just just let people talk. Let, let people talk about how they get in. Right? Just, just chill on the side. Just observe. Now here's the thing. When it's actually time to go, there will always be a space in the Uber for you, yeah? You want to be quick off your mark because if everyone's watching this, they're going to take the same advice and do what I'm saying. Once everyone's had that conversation and it's decided that, oh, this guy's getting the Uber, maybe they've even already ordered it. Now, this is where you come in. Hey, you're Henry, Jacob. Um, so how are you guys getting to the club? Oh, you know what, Calvin? We've just ordered the Uber. I think Henry's getting one, you know. Oh, is that right, Henry? Do you have any space? Do you mind if I hop in with you guys? Yeah, sure. You're all going to the same place. You might as well hop in. All right, cool, guys. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Boom. It's done. That's all you... That's, that, that's it. That's that's all you do. Guys, I'm telling you, this works, yeah. It works and it saves a lot of money. At the end of the club, just do the same thing. When the club's over, just linger. This is for people that people are gonna get onto me for this and I know they are. It's also okay to tell people that oh I don't have money to get you about all of that stuff, I'm broke, yeah. If you're genuinely broke. But if you don't want to get into that conversation, I know certain people won't want to get into that conversation. This is this is what you do, yeah, and you don't want to pay for it. This is what you do. You just you just at the end of the club you just wait. You just you just wait. When someone's ordered the Uber and then you jump in, you, you hop in, you know what I'm saying? Guys, you mind if I just hop into your Uber? Is that okay? Is that all right? Cool, cool, cool. Guys, simple. If you've been wondering what this thing is right next to my Dave painting, well, due to popular demand, my 100 subscribers YouTube plaque is on my wall. There was a poll that went on on my Instagram and most of you guys said you wanted to see this on my wall, so there you guys have it. If you're unfamiliar with the 100 subscribers YouTube plaque video, I'll put the link down in the description and you can go watch that after this video. And if you want to be more involved in these polls on my YouTube channel, just follow my Instagram at atmcn. Do not follow other people in university. No one cares what you wear or what you own. I'm gonna repeat myself. Do not follow other people in university. No one cares what you wear or what you own. Guys, when you go to university, I've told you this in my previous video, I'll link it right here, right now. You're going to see a bunch of different types of people. That's what the video is about. It's about seven different types of people that you will meet at university. When you go to university, you're gonna see people with drip and you might think is that it's the norm to be wearing all these like big brands and like expensive clothing, but guys, no one actually cares what you wear at university, yeah? As long as you can stand in front of the mirror and think, yeah, I look all right today. That's that's all you need. Just humble yourself. That's that's what I'm gonna say. And I've talked about this as well in the first video that I did, which was to do with things that you should bring to university before you actually get there. I'll link it right up here at the end of this video. You can come back to it and you can watch the video. But, but yes, guys, drip is actually unnecessary. I'm not, I'm not gonna say too much because I've already said this enough. Food and cooking. You might not think that this will affect you, but trust me, it will. Now these YouTubers, they'll tell you to go to Lidl and go to Audi, right? And, and and go to these various shops that sell food cheaper, right? And buy the cheaper rice. And they'll also tell you to bulk buy. But guys, I'm gonna tell you something that they didn't tell you. I'm gonna tell you what to do in terms of how to make your food and how to save up money while doing so. 
just check this. So after you've listened to all those YouTubers and bought by and like bought all the cheap stuff, when you come home, this is what you do. If you're making any stews or any vegetables or any things that go with carbs, it could be potatoes and stew, it could be rice and stew, it could be potatoes and some sort of vegetable or rice and some sort of vegetable, or it could be potatoes and chili or do you, do you understand what I mean? Now, when it comes to making what you're having the carbs with, this is what you do. You cook like you're going to cook for 10 people. Hold on a second. Hold up, wait a minute. You cook like you're gonna cook for 10 people. First of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. People in my flat knew this year. When I was cooking, I was making a lot of food. I'm not even exaggerating. Cook like you're gonna cook for 10 people. Get your biggest pot out and cook like you're gonna cook for 10 people, right? And then here's what you wanna do. Prior to coming to uni, you should have bought those little tubs. You can, you can even get it while you're in uni. Those little tubs, only small enough to put enough food for one person, right? As small as you can get them, enough stew or vegetables for one person. Now, after you've made your big meal, you want to separate them in loads of those little tubs. Just put loads of them in, di in the different tubs. Put it in your freezer. Boom, you're sorted for the next two weeks. I'm not even exaggerating. This is exactly what I did. You're all sorted in terms of dinner for the next two weeks. If you want to make another meal, like a, another sort, sort of thing that can go with carb, you can do that as well. Put them in more little tubs and put them in the fridge. Now you're sorted for lunch as well. If you want to do another one just to switch it up during like different days, do it and put it in the little tubs, put it in your freezer. Guys, it will take you one day to do all this, but then you can not cook again for a good two weeks. But you save time, you save money, and you save energy. <laughs> don't tell me I don't, don't tell me I don't, I don't sort you guys out. Do not tell me that I'm not in this channel for a reason. This is how I saved a whole load of money. I can spend 15 pounds a week on shopping. Now every single day in the morning, all you have to do now is take out one or two of those little tubs. Whenever it's lunch time or, or dinner time, just, just boil a little rice, boil a little pasta, a little bit of potatoes, you know what I mean? Enough for you to eat. By the time it's lunch or dinner time, the food's ready to frozen. You can just send it to the microwave just to make it hot. And boom, your meal is done. You don't have to cook or do anything apart from boiling the rice and stuff. But that literally says like five, 10 minutes. Like, guys, I'm telling you, this works. I trust me, it saves you a lot of money, time, and energy. Do not let your flatmate take advantage of you. What do I mean by this? In university, when you live with other people, there's certain things around the flat that you guys are gonna need, right? It's up to you guys to decide who's buying them at what point. Do not let them push you around. If someone's going, bro, it's your turn to do it. Don't, don't let them make you do stuff you don't want to do, right? Now, here's how you can kind of get away with this, yeah? And this really applies to people that are really broke, because if you're not broke, you might as well just give up that, you know, spare three pounds just to get those kitchen towels, you know what I mean? But here's what you want to do. Like the advice I gave you about the Uber, just stand and observe. Just, just observe. Observe. If there's that person that says, oh guys, don't worry, I've got the washing up liquid for this week. Do not do, do not go against it, yeah? Do not say, oh no, no, it's all right, it's all right. Don't feel bad about them getting that washing up liquid. You don't owe them anything. Just be like, oh yeah, that's good, that's good. Oh, thank you very much. That's all you have to say. If there's someone that goes, guys, don't worry about cleaning the, the hand towels around the kitchen. Oh, I'll put them in my wash or whatever, you know, I'll, I'll put them in a separate wash or something. <laughs> that's that's fine. That's, oh, thank you so much. Once it's all washed and stuff, just give them to me. I'll put them in my dryer. But thanks for washing them, dude. That's all you have to do. You can do other little things that won't cost you anything, like putting them on your dryer. But guys, when it comes to actually using money, you can stand and observe, and people will just do things. Yeah. If people don't do it, that's when you have to sort of compromise and bring everyone together. Especially if you really need something around the flat, then you can come together and be like, Yo, guys. This, this and this, we need around the flat, it's gonna cost this amount. Do you guys mind just chipping in a little bit so it's not too much for everyone? That's all you have to do. Then it's cheaper for you, it's cheaper for everyone. But if someone's really opting to pay for something, just stand on the side and be like, oh, thank you very much. You go ahead, do your thing. Do not go against them. Do not, do not tell them that you're gonna sort it out. People will look at this and think, Calvin, you're a bad person for saying this. But guys, if you're broke, this is what you gotta do to survive. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather you save up money, especially at the start of uni, than have extra at the end because you've saved up so much at the start. Rather than spending like you feel at the start and towards the end, you're, you're risking being broke, yeah? I'm only trying to protect you guys, yeah? You see what I'm saying? It might be a bit of a dodgy way to like do things, but <laughs> when you gotta live, you gotta live, you know what I'm saying? Last thing I want to say before I end this video, other YouTubers will tell you this as well and this is the only thing that I kind of think YouTubers do tackle but it's so important I have to put it in this video, your student card discounts. Students do not realise what that student card they hold mean, yeah? When it comes to like food and restaurants, when it comes to shops, if you need something in a shop, make sure you ask if they do student discounts. I don't care if you're going to the shard, yeah? Make sure you ask if they do a student discount. It will save you so much money. Especially for those who are broke, I'm telling you, you're gonna need this. In Mackey's, that's an extra burger if you get a meal, yeah? 
for some people that's a deal breaker an extra burger if you get a meal but yes make sure you're always asking if different shops and restaurants have a student discount because i'm telling you you're going to be surprised how many actually do that's been it for the video guys i know i know a couple of things i was saying were a bit dodgy the whole flatmate situation all that stuff guys you will come to understand when you actually go to uni being a broke student for those people watching this thinking calvin you're an idiot for giving advice like this I don't really care, do you know what I mean? Because I know it's going to help some people. I know it's going to help people and that's all I try to do. And without further ado, guys, if you've either found this video entertaining, informative or inspiring, yeah, smash that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button and tell me what you want to see below. Tell me what you want to see next, all right? It's been your boy Calvin. You've been watching ACM Vlogs and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.